What is up guys, it's James here and I've got my first legend review of FIFA 15 and I'm doing none other than the legend himself, Zola. As you guys can see from them stats on the screen, I played 11 games with him. In them games he scored me 17 goals, which is just epic, and he got me 5 cheeky assists. He's got 4 star weak foot and he's got 3 star skill moves. His preferred foot is his right foot, and what a beast of a right foot it is, and his work rates are medium to medium. If Zola wasn't an amazing footballer, which he is, he'd probably be in Lord of the Rings because his height is 5 foot 6. His base stats are 85 pace, 82 shot, 84 pass, 89 drive, 32 defence and 62 physicality. I will say in game that 62 physicality feels a bit more like a 70. And I'm a little bit gutted with EA that they didn't give him four star skill moves because from what I remember as him as a footballer, he was just amazing on the ball, really gifted. And I just felt it was, you know, he's just technicality and he was a lot more gifted as a player. So he deserves that four star skill moves. But that's just my personal opinion. His in-game stats, as you can see on the screen, his 90 plus stats are his ball control, his curve and his dribbling. And most of his stats you'll see are green as well. When you have him in your team, I've got to say, make sure you use him as a centre forward. If you're going to mess with his position, please don't have him as a striker. Completely would avoid that because of his height. Um, but I would say if you to change him around, maybe a can. But I wouldn't recommend it. The formation I went with was a 4-3-3-5, which meant he was the main man in the team. And uh, I had a left winger and a right winger, and then the rest of the team basically worked around him. Um, when you build the squad uh, with Zola, and hopefully you guys will go out and buy him, um, when you do, you'll see when you assign the players to the role, he'll basically do everything on the game for you, whether it be a penalty taker, a free kick taker, uh, whether it's a long free kick, short free kick, outside the box, um, a corner taker, this guy will do absolutely everything for you, and he can do it, and then some. A little bit about him as a player, um, he's played for many teams but the highlights for me was Chelsea, he had 311 appearances for them, scored 80 goals and for his country he had 35 appearances and scored 10 goals as well. In his career he had two FA Cup, uh, he won two FA Cups, he had a League Cup and he had two, two uh, European medals as well and he's currently moved on to doing management himself. Um, I paid quite a bit of money for him as you would have seen and slightly I will let you know his price is going down at the moment is between 1.1 and 1.2 but I'm not going to be selling him anytime soon so I'm not going to make any loss because he's so, so much of a beast. I've got to say if I was to rate him as a player it's difficult to give someone a 10 out of 10. I really would have loved to have given this guy a 10 out of 10 but I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. So far, I've never found the 10 out of 10 player yet in FIFA. I never did in the previous one and I haven't in this one. But he is one of the best cards I have used in FIFA. If not the best centre forward I've used in FIFA 15 yet. I really, really enjoyed having him in my team. He's so much fun to use. He's so quick on the ball. He sets up your play as well. He's a lot of fun to use. And a card I recommend if you've got the coins, you go out and buy him. Um, as you'll see from the goals, he's really good at long shots, short, uh, short shots. Um, that's what a goal that was. Look at that outside, just boom, straight in. And it, it does it again there. Boom, what an amazing goal. But anyway, I could talk about his goals all day, but I will say, guys, go out and buy him. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please do hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos, please hit subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!